Hello, myself Prabhu Santiago working as business development manager in AVL. Today I would like to talk with you about a very interesting topic how to enhance eDrive validation and optimization on test beds. To have an overview of the eDrive validation and optimization, let's see what is the UUT first. So, on a battery electric vehicle or on a hybrid electric vehicle, one of the very important subcomponents is the eDrive system. The eDrive system consists of the inverter control unit, the inverter, and the e motor. This component is usually tested on different test beds, namely an e motor test bed, an inverter test bed, or an e axle test bed. The typical tasks done on these test environments are basically to validate the e drive system for electrothermal behavior. The second task is basically to optimize the inverter control labels so that you optimize the best performance, the best efficiency and NVH of the e-drive system so that you can improve the range of your electrified powertrain. Coming to the main challenges that are faced by development and optimization engineers on the test beds are the first challenge is that the e inverter and e motor meet for the first time on the test bed. So this means that all the simulation results need to be validated on the test beds. Second thing is that for the optimization, the hardware is fixed. How can I improve my optimization so that I have the best trade off between the efficiency of the e-drive system versus the NVH characteristics of the system. While running the e-drive system on the test bed, we have two major challenges. One is safety because the e-drive system is a very sensitive system, especially to temperatures and also precise conditioning of rotor and stator temperatures because we have to control this properly to have a good characterization of the e-drive system. So to meet all these challenges, one of the AVL solution is to have AVL Cameo for e-drive. This is the add-on software that you have on the test beds, which is able to do intelligence testing and you're able to do the characterization of the e-drive system and also the optimization of the e-drive system. Now, let us go specifically into the challenges of validation tasks. So there are several validation tasks when you do uh, e-drive testing. To name a few, something like a rotor angle offset, a peak performance, torque accuracy, parameter identification. These are typical tasks that are done for e-drive validation, okay? Now the question comes, how can I standardize this process? Is there a quicker way to do it all? And is there a smarter way to do it? Okay. The solution from AVL is fully automated standardization of the eDrive validation tests using AVL Cameo for eDrive. How do we do this? We create test templates for all validation mapping tests and then we create an intelligent test sequence of these template tests so that we are able to run the test bed without any temperature or other issues 24 7. Then we also have advanced limit and stabilization features in Cameo which make sure that we are always in the safe region that doesn't affect your e-drive system. And the interesting thing is that all the tests can be controlled via layouts and the testbed operator has the flexibility to change the parameters during the online test using layouts. And finally, the most important is that using Cameo with interface to Concerto, we are able to generate automatic reporting for all the validation tests that have been done. So, Coming to the challenges in the optimization tasks, which involves optimization of the inverter control unit maps to attain the best performance. For example, 
it's called maximum torque per ampere and to get the best efficiency of the total system including the inverter and the e-motor and also do NVH optimization along with some controller optimization especially for transient behavior these are typical tasks that are done for e-drive optimization so how do I do this task and how do I improve my system to have the best trade-off behavior so the AVL solution is to do this task by active DOE model based optimization this is a patented methodology of AVL where you are able to create a test design and you run this test on the test bed using an online active DOE model which guides you to the most interesting area and make sure that you are always measuring in the best trade-off areas then with this data you are able to do an automatic modeling by which you get very good model quality and then you can use these models to make the optimization finally the optimization results can be integrated into map generation I would like to explain the active DOE methodology for e-drive optimization more in detail as you can see while doing the e-drive optimization you optimize parameters two parameters namely ID and IQ the advantage with active DOE is that you can define these DOE boundaries from the simulation results as you can see when you go from low speed to high speed this DOE boundaries are varying so you can take the output from simulation and give it as an initial input to your DOE then what Cameo is doing is that it is able to do an online model and it is finding out the actual limits for the e-drive system then what it does is that it does with these models it also tries to fill the design space with the points in the area of interest then this loops continues and then it populates the whole area in the interesting area and it never goes to these limit areas by this we make sure that you are measuring in the interesting areas and you don't hit these boundaries which could cause damage to your e-drive system and will not allow you to operate 24 bar 7 so these are the advantages of the active DOE methodology for e-drive optimization so with this methodology and also the standardization of validation task using Cameo for e-drive we see that we have a lot of customer benefits for example there is a cost reduction of approximately 30 percent from the standardization procedure of Cameo and the e-drive range improvement by the optimization using active DOE we found that from the existing system we are able to increase the range 3 to 5 percent and for the validation task as I already mentioned we use templates and this helps in ease of operation of the test bed so with this we conclude cameo for e-drive thanks for listening to this presentation hope this was useful for you thank you